Hi, it's Katie Kovalvik here, and today we're gonna to talk about four ways to support your adrenal glands and fight fatigue so that you can have all day energy. So being fatigued and being tired all the time is not fun, especially if you are dealing with something. I know after my injuries, I had chronic pain, I was having a lot of issues, and I really exhausted my adrenal glands, which are these little triangular glands on top of the kidneys. And so let's just go over four quick ways that you can uh, look at to really improve the situation. So way number one, get enough sleep. I know this is an obvious one, and the worst thing is if you are in a lot of pain or you're having issues with sleeping, someone saying get enough sleep is really hard. So what are my few things within this? You need to have a routine. You should be going to bed at the same time every single night, especially if you're not sleeping well. And your body wants routine, it'll know what to expect, so you gotta train it. I would limit electronics or screen time right before you go to bed. I would have blackout curtains in your bedroom. I would also make sure your temperature in the bedroom is pretty cool so you're not woken up by being overheated. Those are just a few things. There's more than that, but just things to look at at getting a better night's rest. All right, way number two is going to be eliminating refined sugar and refined carbs. So basically junk food. This puts a lot of strain on the body. It causes a lot of stress. Your body doesn't know what to do with it. And it makes your uh, blood uh, sugar levels go up and down, up and down. This causes inflammation. It causes instability in our mood. And it really can make us tired and fatigue. And so we really want to be able to stabilize our blood sugar. So we don't want to have refined sugars and refined carbs. Way number three, eat whole foods. So our body, we're part of nature when your body has whole foods, it knows exactly what to do with it. So you wanna make sure that your whole foods, if they're vegetables and fruits and beans and legumes, that they're organic. And if you do eat animal protein, make sure there's no hormones and no antibiotics that are added and it's grass fed. You don't want, most of the hormones that are in that are estrogen and the antibiotics really can create disruptions in gut health and just cause further stress and fatigue. And that's what we're trying to get away from. Okay, way number four. This one's a hard one. And we gotta limit coffee. So again, I have different opinions about coffee. And if you have chronic fatigue, you're having issues, being tired all the time, this up and down of the caffeine, it really is an irritant to the adrenals. And that's, that basically is what happens. Um, coffee can be also very highly acidic. And so that can just, you know, have some disruptions in the liver as well and congest. And again, it's one of those things, if you're having three or four cups a day, you probably would wanna go down to one or a half a cup and something in the morning so that you're not, you know, having caffeine before you go to bed. So these are just a few things to look at. And I wanna hear your comments on what you like to do to, to get energy. And you can leave a comment below and also, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.